Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Die Hard Wednesday. This is number 13 and today I will be sharing with you a couple of projects. This challenge is hosted by Betty Scrap Passion 01, Sh Shatana H here on YouTube, and myself every other Wednesday. And we have been having so much fun with Die Hard Wednesday. I want to uh, first thank everyone who follow uh, Die Hard Wednesday, leave comments. We really do appreciate it. And we do have giveaways along the way. Um, we do the giveaway at the end of the month, and all you have to do is leave a comment, be subscribed to our channels, and that's it. If you decide to create a project, we would absolutely love to see what you create. All you have to do is either PM us or tag us in a video, uh, hit us up on Facebook, um, and we would love to see what you create. The whole object of this challenge is just to get you to use your dies and to create. So without further ado, let me jump in and I'm going to share with you the very first thing that I created. Okay, I created this really, really cute card. Now let me show you the stamp that I use for this card. And I purchased this at Not Too Shabby Shop, Jamie's Shop. Um, and this is uh, from Pink and Maine, and I absolutely love this. I knew I had to have this in my stash. So I used that stamp set right there. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys what die I use. I like to show the dies as I show my project so, I, so you guys can actually see the die as um, I'm showing my project. So I use this die here, this little stitch circle die here. And this is from Top Dog um, here. Now this um, stamp here has a scene with the polar bear and all of that guys you can use your dies not just for uh, you know what the original use is for and for me I wanted to just use this stitch circle there so that's what I used there was the stitch circle okay and I just um, layered some paper. I love this paper that I got. This is by Lon Fawn, and I also picked this up at Not Too Shabby Shop. Love this plaid paper. It is so super cute, guys. You guys have to pick that up. Then I'll share with you guys one other thing. On the image, I did use my Copic markers to color her up. It was really um, fun pulling it back out, guys, because I promise you I haven't colored in a while. And I used this Copic paper here that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, and I'm sure I used a coupon when I purchased it. I love it because it is the right size to um, use your stamps when you're trying to create a card. It's 4x25 uh, by 5x5. Okay, so let's just show the card. I stamped thanks a million or melon <laughs> and um, put it on a border, added some pearl trim there, and then the inside, I just completed the inside there with some pink cardstock, and I paper, paper pieced this little watermelon here. I thought that was super cute and fun to, to do. So that is the first project I used or I created, okay? The second one that I created is this little cute box. Now, I must say, guys, when I originally created or uh, purchased this die for this box, I thought it was bigger than that. So let me show you guys the die I'm talking about. I purchased this die here, and this is a Tim Holtz Movers and Shapers. This is the bag die, um, and it's called In the Bag. Now, I thought it was bigger in the bag. So when I pulled it out, I was a little bit um, puzzled with what I would do with it. But what I decided to do was I also colored another image and paper piece this little cute little girl here. I used this bow die here to put a bow there. And this is from Creative Times. This is the mini bow set here. Okay. And um, I recently participated in a... Uh, pocket letter insert um, swap and so this would have been perfect for that because what I decided to do was I created a really simple pocket letter insert okay so this would be really fun if you're needing to send off a um, ATC or something like that and let me show you the die that I use for this here okay 
So what I use for this one is the Tim Holtz ATC and Corners die. And um, this is how that die looks. I picked that, I've had that guys in my stash for a long time. And so this was really fun to make. And so if you remember the polar um, die set, I just used the negatives from that because it was all adhered at first and I just um, went on ahead and cut out the polar bear. And then this of course was the little um, leverage that the polar bear was on. I added some little cute little flip flops here and just have slice of life using the 110 cardstock for this um, ATC and also to create with this cute little box here. So again, this will be really cute if you needed to send an ACT, ATC, <laughs> uh, ACT on the brain. Uh, <laughs> it is coming up for my boys. I guess that's why I'm, I'm thinking about it. Okay, so um, I use um, the 110 cardstock, guys. And what I was saying was this will be really cute to see in something like two by two and a half by three and a half that you can put in here. And so the back, I just stamped crafty treats for you and put some washi there. And so this is the little cute little box here that you can... Um, Sin. And so I'm actually pleased with it once I actually put it all together. But I must say and be honest that this very, you know, looking at it outside of the box, I was like, wow, this is super small. So here is my projects, guys, for Die Hard Wednesday. Please go over and check out Betty, Scrap Passion 01, and Shantae Shatana here, Shatana H here on YouTube and see what those ladies created. I know that you will not be disappointed. Thanks, guys, so much for tuning in for Die Hard Wednesday, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.